What is good, Keezy Gang, bro? And honestly, bro, this news that I just got right now is insane. You know what I'm saying? People commented under my videos, man, telling me that Drake's house thing got shot up and stuff like that, man. It's getting crazy, all right? So I got this video right here. Apparently, it was on the news. We're going to see what they got to say about this, bro. All I'm going to say is, bro, <laughs> J. Cole might have been might have been thinking in the future, all right? Like, like no cap, because it looks like they out for blood. 858 here on BT. We begin with breaking news following a developing story out of Toronto where police confirmed that they are investigating an overnight shooting outside of the home of rapper Drake. He Here's a live look this morning at the... Someone got hit? I thought they just shot the house up or someone. They actually hit someone? What'd that just say? One person with serious injuries after the shooting at Toronto home known to be owned by Drake. Oh my gosh. Outside of the home of rapper Drake. He, here's a live look this morning at the scene. This is outside 21 Park Lane Circle in North York, well known to be the home of the Toronto <laughs> They're going to drop rapper. the Addy like. Details are still very limited at this point, but police confirmed that they were called to the home around 2 o'clock this morning after reports of a shooting. One man was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. Police have confirmed to City News that the victim is not Drake. You can see uh, a ton of police tape as well. Oh, my God. Thing oh, my God. Yo, things is getting crazy, gang. I'm not going to lie to you. Hold up. This is the last thing I expected. I didn't even watch this yet. This is the last thing I expected. But the victim is not Drake. You can see a ton of police tape as well in this area. Evidence markers as well laid out on the ground. And this is a oh look my from gosh. our chopper This is literally well. the same house. The same house that Kendrick then used on his thumbnail. Like, no cap. Oh, my. <laughs> Yo. Yo, J. Cole is on another level right now, y'all. That's all I'm thinking about right now. When J. Cole apologized and said all this crazy stuff, bro, talking about people are out for blood, all this. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking we just trying to get bars, bro. Like, we haven't had nothing like this in a long time. You feel me, gang? Like, people like, oh, my gosh. They taking it too far, gang. Well laid out on the ground. And this is a look from our chopper as well at the home from above. You can see that there is police tape as well surrounding the front door of the property. We know that there was a suspect who fled in a vehicle, but so far there is no description available of that suspect. Oh our Karen Seelan is headed to the scene this hour. Stay with us here on BT as we continue to follow this developing situation. Nah, this is insane, y'all. This is the last thing I thought was going to happen with this beef. You know what I'm saying? I thought we was just about to get a, like, a, a nice little beef. We was going to get some nice like hip-hop. You feel me? I thought we was just about to, you know what I mean? Have a nice time, bro. Like, damn. What the hell? I hope this has nothing. I hope this has nothing to do with the beef, bro. But like, I feel like it's kind of dumb to think it doesn't. I feel like it might be dumb to think it doesn't. You feel me? Because when has some news like this ever came out? Had that has to do with Drake or anything like that. Like now, once the beef is up and the beef is crazy right now and they going back and forth in these disses, people getting shot up and stuff like that. Someone got hit? Like, damn. Yo, this is crazy, bro. J. Cole, man. J. Cole, bro. You are just, you You a smart-ass ninja. Like, <laughs> you a smart-ass nigga, bro. No cap. Because there's no way. There is no way you predicted all this, gang, off one song. Like, no cap. This is getting crazy. We're going to see what happens, man. We're going to see what... Oh, what is Drake going to say about this, bro? What is Drake going to say about this? That's really what I'm thinking. Like... <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Let's run this. I got to run this back again, bro. Because this is crazy. They said it wasn't Drake that got hit, but it's crazy. Like, who was Breaking it? Breaking news following a developing story out of Toronto where police confirmed that they are investigating an overnight shooting outside of the home of rapper Drake. He Here's a live look this morning at the scene. This is outside 21 Park Lane Circle in North York, well known to be the home of the Toronto-born rapper. Details are still very limited at this point, but police confirmed that they were called to the home around God 2 o'clock this morning after reports of a shooting. One man was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. Police have confirmed to City News that the victim is not Drake. That's see, crazy, uh, though. Like, like the no one's all right. Like, bro, we don't even know what happened to the bull who got hit yet. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And nor do we know who that is, man. You feel me? Like, a lot of people be around Drake, y'all. You feel me? 
So, like, we don't know who that is. It's not Drake. You can see a ton of police tape as well in this area. Evidence markers as well laid out on the ground. And this is a look from our chopper as well at the home from above. You can see that there is police tape as well surrounding the front door of Damn. the property. We know that there was a suspect who fled in a vehicle, but so far there is no description available of that suspect. Our Karen Seolan is headed to the scene this hour. Stay with us here on BT as we continue to follow this developing situation. <laughs> y'all gang, bro. What do y'all think? What what like what do y'all think is going on in here? You know what I'm saying? Like what do y'all think this has to do with? i I'm gonna stick with the beef. I feel like this has everything to do with the beef. I feel like people just can't. Just can't, you know what I'm saying? Keep it hip hop, bro. Like we don't gotta like we don't gotta be taking things to this extent, bro. Like you go into this man's house and shoot like whoever it is, for whatever reason, bro, you went to this man's house shooting this joint up, then hit somebody. You feel me? Like this is a this is at a whole nother level, y'all. You feel me? Like no cap. This is damn near like this is Biggie Tupac level beef, like damn near. Like, like damn near. No bullshit. You got people, people getting hit. Once somebody got hit, bro, it's Tupac. Biggie level beef. That's the only thing that was keeping me from from saying like, like this beef was up there with them because I was like, bro, the, like the stakes ain't high enough, bro. Stuff was happening with Biggie and Tupac, bro. Like real shit was happening in between the lines, gang. You feel me? Now you got this shit going on. Like, damn, I don't even know what to think about this. Is there any more videos out on this? Hold up. Let me see what other things have said about this. Well, a Toronto home. Well, a Toronto home belonging to the musician Drake was the scene of an overnight shooting. It happened at around 2 in the morning, and the, a man was rushed to hospital with serious injuries. Now, this happened in the upscale Toronto neighborhood called the Bridal Path. CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is at the scene. Out the Bridal Path seems luxury as hell, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that just seems like you like a great place to live. <laughs> and then this shit happens. Now, this happened in the upscale Toronto neighborhood called the Bridal Path. CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is at the scene outside of Drake's home. Megan, what can you tell us? Well, it is an active investigation underway, Natasha. I'll step out of the way so you can kind of have a bit of a look at the scene here. We're being held back by police tape at this uh, part of the, the road, but right there where... Bro, when this beef hit the news, y'all, that's how you know things get different. Like, things is different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, well, I just found out that this, that this beef was even being, like, discussed on the news today. Literally like 10 minutes ago, probably. <laughs> no cap. I'm like, oh, shit is getting crazy. Or that other police tape is, is the corner of Drake's property. Um, several vehicles, police vehicles parked in front of the home. I can see multiple uh, orange pylons on the ground, potentially evidence markers there. Yeah. Um, as well as just beside me, a pair of uh, blue surgical gloves as well that are just uh, on the other side of this tape here. So investigators on scene, police uh, writing on social media earlier this morning that they were called to the area of Bayview and Lawrence around 2 a.m. this morning for reports of a shooting uh, and they say that a man was transported to hospital with serious injuries damn. they also say that a suspect who was the man bro a whole like, like damn like, like who was it that's gonna come out soon bro drake oh my gosh bro we got we gonna see what happens next bro like we're like we got we gotta hear from him you know drake like to be on twitter and instagram and shit y'all so i feel like we're gonna hear something soon Fact in the shooting fled in a vehicle, uh, but they have not issued any kind of description of the suspect or that vehicle. Not clear if Drake is in the home or was in the home last night, Natasha, um, or exactly where on the property the shooting took place, whether it was inside the home, on the front lawn, outside uh, on the street, or where exactly it took place. Well, Mo, I can tell you right now, look at where the orange freaking cones are. Where the freaking evidence freaking markers at? You know what I'm saying? That's where they be placing the shit at. Where where the freaking damn near where it took place. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, do you see any of that shit happening inside of the gate? A source has told CBC News the person that was shot was a security guard, uh, oh. and that police were were told that that person was unconscious um, and had received a gunshot wound to the upper chest. And again, oh, that person. Oh my gosh. The security guard? Oh, that boy needed that. He needed a good check, man. He needed a good check. He didn't put his life on the line for this shit.
He didn't put his life on the line for this shit, y'all. He took a chest shot. It's crazy. Shot wound to the upper chest. And again, that God person bless. was rushed to hospital. Uh, right, we understand uh, they underwent uh, some kind of surgery. We don't have an update on that person's uh, condition um, and, uh, yeah, what the what the state is um, of their health right now. Those are all the details we know no so way. far. Um, now, again, police obviously on scene. We're hoping they'll give us a bit of an update uh, as soon as possible so we can learn more about what happened here uh, early this morning. No well, one way. of the questions it's raising uh, Megan is of course Drake has already been in the headlines I don't know how closely everyone's been following this but if you follow hip-hop or if you're following entertainment news Drake has been in this ongoing battle this rap feud with Kendrick Lamar so tell us about yo, that yo 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 like this shit's getting yo this shit's getting crazy gang yeah you know I mean yo yo Tupac Biggie level shit this is this is wild this is wild yeah, and that's really been heating up uh, over the last few days. It's a feud that's been going on for years, but it really has ramped up in the last couple of days with both musicians releasing multiple tracks aimed at each other, uh, containing lyrics with pretty uh, ugly personal insults. Um, one of the songs that Kendrick Lamar released uh, when he put it out on his social media channels, uh, the cover art for that track included an image of this house behind me, of Drake's house. And Yo, Ariel why shot. is she doing the police work for them? Like, <laughs> she damn near snitching like, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yo, Kendrick really did use Drake's house as his thumbnail, though. That's nuts. Of this house behind me, of Drake's house, an aerial shot. Um, now, it's pretty well known that Drake has a mansion in Toronto, in this area of Toronto. Uh, but that image of his exact house had been put out by Kendrick Lamar. And again, um, uh, both artists taking shots at each other uh, through their lyrics. Uh, very ugly feud that has had a lot of people talking in recent days. And then this shooting at the house uh, earlier this morning. Now, there is an absolutely no evidence to suggest that feud is connected to what happened here last night. I mean, let's take an educated guess, though. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's, let's take an educated guess. You know what I'm saying? But how many times Drake been shot at this the past two years that, that the news knows about? You know what I'm saying? I don't remember anything. So, like, <laughs> now, after now, once the beef going on, this crazy-ass shit is on the news and stuff like that, bro. This ha I'm just going to take an educated guess. You feel me? I'm not going to say it's definite. Bomber say there's a high percentage it is, no cap. <laughs> and absolutely no evidence to suggest that feud is connected to what happened here last night but people online and the way she do said that is crazy like how she gonna make the connection and then like try to like veer away from that it's crazy <laughs> no evidence to suggest that feud is connected to what happened here last night but people online certainly who do follow uh, the two rappers are certainly talking about it and uh quite likely that'll be one of the questions for police uh if they speak to us this morning oh Natasha. my gosh cbc's megan fitzpatrick in toronto thank you y'all this is getting crazy i'm not gonna lie bro there's just no way there's no way that it has come to this no cap like what oh comments are turned off that's crazy gang no lie damn y'all gang let me know what y'all think about this bro you feel me this is crazy i feel like nine times eight times out of ten it does have something to do with the beef so i'm gonna call this tupac biggie type level beef you know what i'm saying it has now reached that status to me and it's 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 this is getting crazy i can't wait to see what people are saying about this bro no lie, bro. What Drake has to say about this. If Kendrick says anything at all, you feel me? Kendrick probably is not going to say shit, knowing that. Because Kendrick, like, this, this is a sticky situation for Kendrick. You feel me? No cap. So, like, things are things are getting heated up real, real bad. <laughs> Keys again. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm out. Uh, I'm going to have more videos out for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably go live, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. But I'm out. Stay safe. Enjoy your day. Tune in.